Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back and today I wanted to talk to you guys about some free agent news. You guys know I like to keep up with NBA free agency and talk about it, share my opinion, my thoughts. And today I am excited. Yes, I am super excited because I did not think this would happen and it did. As you saw, Avery Bradley can test that shot right there. We're going to get him the ball, let him go coast to coast as he gets the N1. We needed that right there, but still... Avery Bradley has decided to re-sign with the Celtics on the 10th of July when people can sign contracts during free agency when it officially starts. But now, I mean, you can still talk to teams and you can have meetings, you can make agreements, and you can pretty do it the verbal agreement, almost like a college handshake type thing. But yeah, Avery Bradley will be coming back to the Celtics for four years. 32 million is the deal. I think that's what they're saying. It's obviously not confirmed. Nothing is official until that day of uh, July 10th. But uh, yeah, pretty exciting news for Celtics fans because you just, you can't be losing pieces when you're not building. Like, you need to be hanging on to all the pieces you got. And I think this is good. Air Bradley's a solid defender, one of the best in the league. And solid doesn't do justice. Let me just revoke that statement. And yeah, I mean, 15 points a game. This guy puts in work. He's a hustle guy. He's one of those guys you want on the court. And if you're going to build towards a championship team, he's a piece you want to have on the roster. And yeah, I like this move. I think he obviously got overpaid a little bit, but uh, that's just how the market goes. People get overpaid, and as long as you're not, you know, paying him way too much, it's not that bad. It averages out to, what, like $8 million a year, which it's a little pricey. But, I mean, you look at guys like Gerald Wallace, who's making, like, what, is he making $11 million or something? Something ridiculous when he is an absolute bum now <laughs> he's terrible and yeah so hopefully that doesn't happen to Avery Bradley hopefully he's not just eight million on the books and he all of a sudden just falls off the cliff like Gerald Wallace has but I mean that guy he's he's just crashed to the floor one too many times that's what happened to Gerald Wallace he just died injuries killed him and yeah it's a shame because Gerald Wallace used to be a crazy player to watch man but now they're, they're probably trying to get rid of him somehow which would mean Rondo trades and I don't even know what's going on with that whole deal I hope they're keeping Rondo but I don't even know if they're going to have enough cap to re-sign him next year. Because he's saying, apparently, that he wants a max deal of $100 million, And, I mean, he's going to want that money, obviously. If you just gave $30 million to a Avery Bradley, Rondo is going to want way more than that. And, yeah. I don't know if they're going to have the money to actually do that. And, and to build the team around it. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. But uh, some other news, though. Gortat stays with the Wizards. I never made a video on that. But, yeah. Uh, this was some pretty nice news to wake up to this morning. And the East is still looking good, still looking strong. Gets better and better each day, it seems like, and it needs to, man. It, it was weak last year. Let's hope that this year is not a repeat and there's not just, like, an eighth seed that didn't even win more than half of their games to get into the playoffs because that's just embarrassing. That's not fair for the Phoenix Suns who missed the playoffs. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're a Celtics fan, let me know what you think of the pick. Did he get overpaid? Should they have just let him walk? What do you think? Let me know, and uh, yeah, I do appreciate it as always. Thanks for checking out the videos, and uh, stay tuned for more, of course.